Hi, I'm Pamela and welcome back to Longevity Gardens. And today I am bringing you a, a video that I actually don't really want to do. Um, it's so much fun to bring you guys uh, videos of things that are doing really good and that I'm really enjoying. But this is a video about this guy. This is a tree that is not doing good in my yard because, um, you know, if you're a gardener, the reality is that sometimes you have trees that just are not doing good and that die. Um, we all have trees that die. If you're a gardener and plant trees every year and garden every year, you're, you're not always going to have a 100% success rate. When I give seminars here, um, I always ask people, you know, who here um, is a gardener? And most people raise their hands. And then I ask, who here has killed a tree? And everyone wants to put their hand down. I'm like, nope, you know, because if you're a gardener and you say you've never killed a tree, well, you're kind of lying. So I tell everyone to raise their hand and give everyone beside them a high five because the truth is uh, we all get trees that die, that don't make it. And so I'm bringing you this video hoping that um, I can help some of you guys uh, save a tree. Because beside me here, um, this is a lychee tree. Um, it's been in the ground for quite a few years and it's never done well. And I've always thought that, well, because it's a lychee, um, it, you know, it's not in its proper environment in the desert and that's why it's always struggled. And so uh, it's been, I think, three years in the ground and it slowly started losing its leaves. Year after year, it kind of looked worse and worse. And I found out that it actually had a, a leaf fungus and that's why it wasn't doing well. But by the time I found that out and was gonna start treating it, uh, 115 degrees happened here in Phoenix and it dropped every single leaf. And now it just looks like a tree of sticks. Um, and when you see something like this in your yard, you really you kind of just want to rip it out and start over but the thing is with this tree i really think uh, because it was a leaf fungus that did it in with all its leaves uh, i think it has a strong root system and i want to try and bring it back to life i do not want to take it out so i'm doing this on camera for you guys because <laughs> i want to i want to show you that you know not doesn't matter how good of a gardener you are. Doesn't matter, you know, what you have going on in your yard. You're gonna, you're gonna have trees that struggle, and you're gonna have trees that die on you. And we're all like kind of doing our best, and we're all kind of just sharing and, and learning on how to be better. And the more trees you kill, kind of the better you get as a gardener. Like look at it that way. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do to this tree and try to bring it back because. Um, I'm, I'm going to use some good products that I really believe in and um, I really think that this tree has been well established with its root system and I think it's got really good soil. It just, it just had some problems with a, a leaf fungus and it had problems with 115 degrees here in Phoenix. So even though it's got no leaves on it now, I'm going to treat it with, um, first of all with this. I just got this off Amazon. Um, to help with uh, different diseases that some trees can get. So I am going to use that. I'm going to use this once a week. It is, um, it's bright blue. It looks like, let me open it. it. Doesn't, it doesn't really have a smell. It is a coppery smell, like almost a metallic smell. So it is bright blue stuff. Um, so I'm going to treat it with this to treat the problem that it had in this first place, which was the fungus. Now, because it has struggled all summer long, we're in late August now, um, it's really just tired, I think. It's depleted of all uh, nutrients, it gave it everything it's got, and it didn't have anything left. And so it's, it's really just hanging on by a thread. But I'm going to give it um, the best boost of nutrients that I know how, and I'm going to do that with this product. It's called Noble Gills. Um, and it's a new product that I am selling on my website and I, I really have been using this product now for uh, about a month and I'm really liking the results I have with it and I'm going to treat this tree with it. Um, this product is made with uh, sardines. Sardines are a cold water fish so they have a lot of fat because they uh, live in cold water. So they have a lot of nutrients in them. Like they're very uh, calorie dense fish because of all the fat that they have. And they're small. So they have big schools of this type of sardine fish. And it's really um, the migration of the sardines that kind of dictate 
where all the other fish migrate to because they're following the sardines because they're so nutrient dense of the ocean and that's what we are now going to bring into our yard. So this stuff is made with mostly sardines and so we're going to take all that very potent nutrient dense uh, fatty fish and we're going to put it directly onto this tree. Now this is a foliar feed. Now that's okay. Even though this doesn't have any leaves on it, I'm going to treat every inch of, um, of each branch. Now I've cut the tips, you can see, I've cut the tips of um, what were kind of dead. So this, this guy was so, um, he's in such bad shape, he's just been receding and I'm going to treat it. So I'm going to treat it with this stuff and these two products. Now I'm going to put one um, ounce of this and one ounce of this, so equal parts together into a one gallon spray. Um, I like using the one gallon um, spray just because most of the products that I sell and other people sell um, have measurements for the one gallon. So it just makes it easy and it's nice and light and I can carry it and I can go up and down ladders easy with this thing um, to treat all my trees. So it's okay. Hang on. So, so it's okay to mix both of these together, one ounce each in one gallon of water. Like some people think that you have to um, treat it separately, but you can put them together and just give it a good once over. About once a week, about once every seven days, you're going to want to just drench um, every branch with this. And I promise that no matter what the results are, even if this tree dies, I'll come back and I'll, and I'll show you that it died. But I'm hoping that I'm able to bring you guys a video of it surviving and you can kind of see a tree that looks like it should be ripped out, that it's done, that it, you know, it had, it had its chance and, you know, because I have done that with some trees, you know, I, I try to grow them, they don't do good, they look like they're dead, they're, I'm tired of, of trying and I want to put something else there. So I'll rip a tree out and I'll put something else. But I, you know, this is my only lychee tree that I have in my yard. And I really think that it was a fungus that I now know about that I can, that, that I can now treat with this. And I've discovered um, this Noble Gills product. And I really think this is some of the best stuff that has hit our market. And we're really lucky now to have access to it. So I'm going to take these two things and I'm going to give I'm going to give this poor lychee tree one more shot and I'm going to I'm going to do it on camera with you because a lot of you you know you're going to have trees too that are struggling and you don't know what to do and you want to give up and like you can try getting uh, this stuff is just on um, like Amazon but this stuff is on the link below in this video so if you have a tree that you're ready to give up on and you're going to give it maybe just one more shot you can come and do this with me Let's get started, let's treat this tree and hopefully I come back to you guys in a couple of weeks and, and show you that we have a, a, a success instead of a failure. But even if it is a failure and it doesn't make it, that's okay. We're, we're all gardeners and we're all gonna have trees that, that die. And sometimes it's our fault from neglect. Sometimes, you know, you, you know, someone in the neighborhood brought in a diseased tree and it attacked our trees. Things like that do like do happen when you're a gardener. You know, we get bugs sometimes that come into the yard and attack our trees and try to kill our plants. And you know, it's just part of um, it's just part of gardening. But we have some tools that we're going to try and use, and hopefully, we can we can all have a good success together. So let's get started. Okay, so those are the two products that, and I already have it in here. And let's just get started here. I am going to spray the entire tree. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm even going to get the very bottom of the trunk. Even though it's got no leaves on it, it'll absorb the nutrients right through the trunk and the bark. Okay. I'm just going to completely drench every part every twig either it comes back to life or i have to just give up on it but i hopefully i'll come back to you guys in a couple weeks with some success <laughs> 